Okay, so hello future developers, welcome to another tutorial with uh, CSS. Okay, so today we'll be doing internal CSS as the element selector. Okay, so find select the HTML element you want to style. Okay, so we'll be using the internal CSS. Okay, so using simple selectors and then um, first of all we are going to start with the element selector. That is going to be based on the name of the element. So as you see here, so you need to connect our main.css to this index.html. Okay, so that said, we'll need to inside our head, okay, the head property, we need to type link. So the grid, the less than sign and then link relation. Okay, so link relation equals then the quotation comments and inside the quotations we are going to type style sheet. Okay, so types um, style sheet. Okay, so there's something you need to type style sheet. Okay, and then um, we would have to type the name of our um, CSS document. So HR, HRF. So we are going to link them. So hypertext reference. Oh yes. So main.css. So that's the name of our CSS. Okay. So main.css, and then we'll type. Um, the type of um, CSS is okay, so we're going to do is um, text. So type equals to then quotation comments and inside the quotation comments we'll type text for a slash CSS. And then we'll close the tag. Okay, so now we've linked the two um, files. Okay, so index.html has been linked to our main.css. Our main.css will be linked to our index page. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to type the p tag. So I want to make some changes on the p tag. That's a paragraph tag or paragraph elements. And then uh, just try the color attributes for CSS. Okay, so that's the font size or font style. Sorry, so font style, which you change to italic. Or the font size. So I'm using 2M. Okay, so let's refresh our browser and then let's see. So refresh our browser and then you can see the effects. Okay, so meaning we've linked our index and then our main.css uh, files together just using the link relation um, at, uh, attributes. Okay, so let's try doing that for the body. So body calibrates and inside the calibrates would use the color attributes. Okay, and then the properties should be yellow green. So I'm trying yellow green. I'm going to refresh it. Okay, so you can see how it affects the whole body or the entire document or file. So you can add more styling. Okay, so the H1. The H1 does another CSS, so let's give it a style. So we are using the font size colon, and then to EM, and then we we'll terminate it with a semicolon. Then we refresh the browser, then let's see the effects. So refresh. Okay, so you can see the two. That's for all H, that's the H1, so all the H1 tags should have this effects on them. Let's try fonts style. We're going to use italic okay, and then we'll terminate it with a semicolon. Okay, so you saw the effects. Okay, so thank you for watching.